We'll go ahead and get started. Thank you for being here this morning. My name is Pauline Brummel, and I belong to the Marianites here at Our Lady of Annunciation Parish. Our main ministry is to take Holy Communion to our homebound parishioners, which we do every Monday morning. One of our parishioners, um, one of our Marianite parishioners, uh, Bernice Medrano, uh, had the privilege of visiting Shar when Shar was a resident at Brookdale Assisted Living. And we also, as a Marianite, lead the rosary when requested by the family. We thank Shar's son, Kevin, her grandson, Christopher, and Christopher's wife, Cindy, for this honor. You may follow along with the blue pamphlets that have been uh, distributed. We gather as family and friends of Char, Charlin, Char, Tashida, who loved her in this life. Now that she is gone from us, we come into the Lord's presence to give thanks for all the good the Lord has done in her and for the richness we have received. We entrust her soul to the tender mercy of God. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Three Hail Marys for the increase of the virtues of faith, hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. The glorious mysteries of the rosary, the first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will have the light of life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <coughs> sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at God's right hand. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles and our blessed mother. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another paraclete to be with you always, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept since it neither sees him nor recognizes him. But you can recognize him because he remains with you and will be within you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery, the assumption of our blessed mother into heaven. Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. For see, winter is past, the rains are over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her, May she rest in peace. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of our blessed mother as queen of heaven and earth. 
A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, and some mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Please be seated for the last little prayer. O oh Lord, Shar has come to the end of her earthly journey. We entrust her to your mercy. We are united here to say goodbye and to thank you for the gift of her life and for all the moments spent together. Help us to find strength in the memories she is leaving us. 
Give us the comfort of faith in the awareness that our life on earth is not a destiny, but a journey to lead us to happiness with you. Receive into your kingdom our loved one in the hope of meeting again one day. Father, we entrust our sister to your mercy. You loved her greatly in this life. Now that she is freed from all its cares, give her happiness and peace forever. Welcome her now into paradise where there will be no more sorrow, no more weeping, no more pain, but only peace and joy with Jesus, your Son, and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
please rise and join in singing our gathering hymn found in your red worship hymnal number 705 for all the saints. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Shar died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May she now share with Christ eternal glory. I welcome Shar's family, all of her dear friends, that are here and those who could not be with us, uh, we pray they will be able to follow along with us later uh, through the recording. Shar left us too soon, but she left many beautiful memories, a woman of great faith and love. So let us present her now to the Lord as we prepare our hearts for these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you gave your life upon the cross to save the world from sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you rose from the dead to give us new life and grace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you ascended to the right hand of the Father in heaven where you intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. O God, who has set a limit to this present life, so as to open up an entry into eternity, we humbly beseech you that by the grace of your mercy, you may command the name of your servant Shar to be inscribed in the book of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You may be seated as the word of God is now proclaimed. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth for the Lord has spoken. 
On that day it will be said, Behold, our God to whom we look to save us, this is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He didn't spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. Will he not also give everything else along with him? Who will bring a a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, rather, was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or the sword? No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, 
nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus answered the Jews and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation but has passed from death to life. Amen. Amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may be seated. Charlene Louise Tashida, born in 1946, leaving us on the first day of April, 2023. The scripture that the family selected from the book of Isaiah says, on that day, the great, the great day, the last day, it will be said, behold our God to whom we looked to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad. The season that we're celebrating right now, the Easter season, is a season of rejoicing in the resurrection. And that is the faith that Shar had. She very much believed in the risen Savior. She 
who had many, many extraordinary experiences in life. Perhaps the most extraordinary was that journey she took with her beloved husband from Baltimore down to the Caribbean Sea, sailing, sailing the entire way, much to the intercoastal canals and waterways, makes me think of a beautiful reflection on death that was written by Henry Van Dyke. It says this, I am standing upon the seashore. A ship at my side spreads her white sails to the morning breeze and starts for the blue ocean. She is an object of beauty and strength. I stand and watch her until at length she hangs like a speck of white cloud just where the sea and the sky come to mingle with each other. Then someone at my side says, there she's gone. Gone where? Gone from my sight, that's all. She's just as large and masked and hull and spar as she was when she left my side, and she's just as able to bear the load of living freight to her destined port. Her diminished size is in me, not in her. And just at the moment when someone at my side says, there she's gone, there are other eyes watching her coming and other voices ready to take up the glad shout. Here she comes. And that is dying. Char, who took that long journey sailing from Baltimore, at a certain point when their boat was far enough away, was thought to be gone. But as this meditation says, gone where? Simply to another shore, another sea, another land. And in this case, a much better place where there is no suffering or sorrow, crying out or pain, but only the joy that comes in the fulfillment of the believer. When St. Paul in his letter to the Romans says, what can separate us from the love of Christ? Nothing. Not even all of our trials and tribulations that Paul had many of, and so did Shar. I think when the battle with Parkinson's and her other frailties increased, I know that there were fears. And there's a meditation from St. Francis de Sales that I share with our parishioners who are facing these kinds of fears. And St. Francis said this, do not look forward in fear to the changes in life. Rather, look to them with full hope. As they arise, God, whose very own you are, will lead you safely through all things. And when you cannot stand it, God will carry you in his arms. Do not fear what may happen tomorrow. For the same understanding Father who cares for you today will take care of you then and every day. He will either shield you from the suffering or will give you unfailing strength to bear it. Be at peace and put aside all anxious thoughts and imagination. Those words of St. Francis, I believe, gave Shar comfort and encouragement. My last visit with her, as she was nearing eternity, we focused on those very realities. There she was, and there was a, a comfort dog that kept coming. And I know that uh, she instructed Deborah Sushenalt to become Catholic. You know, one of her blessings was that she didn't keep her relationship with the Lord to herself. She was very involved in the RCIA as a sponsor, very involved with our Women's Guild, helping others, whether they were grieving or celebrating. She shared that. She kind of reminded me of a sparkling wine. Her eyes were always sparkling, right? And her, her, her whole being was effervescent, if I can say that. And when she dealt with these challenges, I thought those words from John's gospel spoke very well of her. It says, I say, whoever hears my word, in another area it says, hears my voice, and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life. 
She believed so much in learning that word, the word of God, that she went to these adult education courses time and time and time again. And many of you who've been sponsors in the RCI, you know what I'm talking about. You come to a much deeper appreciation of the word of God as you study it further and share it with other people. And she did that. She did not keep those blessings to herself, but rather shared that with others. And that, I think, is where that sparkle comes. You know, that effervescent, it bubbles over to other people. And that's what faith really is meant to do. It's not meant to be put under a bushel basket. As Jesus tells us, it's meant to be like a light, like this light that shines and represents Jesus, the light of the world. We are to carry that light, his light, so that in a world that seems to have so much sorrow, veiling people, right, with sorrows, the Lord then can wipe away tears from all faces. For the Lord has spoken. I hear again the word. And Christ is the word made flesh. Shar appreciated that word. And for that, we give thanks today. St. Teresa of Avila spoke about Christ dwelling in the soul. And she put it this way. If Christ Jesus dwells in a soul as friend and noble leader, that soul can endure all things. For Christ helps and strengthens us and never abandons us. He is a true friend. And I clearly see that if we expect to please him and receive an abundance of graces, God desires these graces come to us from the hands of Christ. And then Teresa concluded with this great lesson. Blessed is the one who truly loves him and keeps him near. The great love God showed in giving us Christ as a pledge of love Love calls for love in return. Or as another translation says, love is repaid by love alone. In fact, in some Carmelite monasteries, they have those words emblazoned upon the walls. Love is repaid by love alone. And so today, our offering of this Mass is our act of love to God for Shar. And Shar, how many did she pray at for the souls of our faithful departed over the years here at Annunciation? Probably innumerable. And now we do this for her so that she too may rest in peace and come to the joys of paradise. I conclude with this prayer of the Easter season to the glorified Lord and to the Blessed Mother. She prayed the rosary every day very faithfully, gave her great peace, and she prayed it for many others. Again, that love overflowing, effervescent love. O oh, Jesus, give me the grace to die to myself that I might rise with you and after your likeness lead a new, divine, immortal life new by change of conduct, divine by the generosity and purity of my love, immortal by perseverance in well-doing. Work in my heart, O Lord, this happy change. Make me pass from death to life, from darkness to light, from a life full of imperfection to a life worthy of you. Make me go from light to light. And to you also, O Holy Virgin, Mother of our Savior, deign to make me a partaker of the divine joy which you did feel on that blessed day of his resurrection. Dry my tears and free my heart from all oppressive sadness. Let your risen Son enter into my heart as through the closed doors into the upper chambers. Let him say to me, as he said to the apostles, Peace be with you, and may he never depart from me, nor me from him.
Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us stand together now, dear brothers and sisters, for we know that Christ Jesus is risen from the dead, and he sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for the church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, let us join our prayers to his. For Shar, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that she may now be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sister who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that she may be raised up on the last day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family and friends of our sister Shar, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered, assembled here, to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord God, giver of peace, healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your pe people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom where Jesus is Lord forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated now as the altar is prepared. Please join in our song of preparation found in your red worship hymnal number 510. I want to walk as a child of the light. Shine on my 
shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. Pray, dearly beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look favorably upon our offerings, Lord, so that your departed servant, Shar, may be taken up into the glory of your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. <clears throat> it is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection is dawned. Those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. If you are able. O Lord, you are holy indeed, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. <clears throat> We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Isidore, St. Teresa of Avila, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, John, our Archbishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Shar, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in death may also be one with him in his resurrection when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. stand to pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other a sign of peace.
we welcome all the members of our faith who are properly disposed to receive Holy Communion to come forward at this time, remembering to consume the host immediately upon receiving. Those who are not properly disposed may come forward with crossed arms to receive a blessing. We also welcome all of our guests of other faiths to join in singing the communion hymn found in your order of worship, one bread, one body. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your servant Shar, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her, may it ease our sadness, strengthen our hope. And one day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. May our prayers, O Lord, rise like this incense. May the soul of our sister Charlene enter into paradise. Gloria Patriot, Filio et Spiritui Sancto, 
Sicuta dat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. May our prayers, O Lord, rise like this incense. May the soul of our sister Charlotte enter into paradise. O saints of God, come to her aid, hasten to meet her angels of the Lord. Receive, Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Into your hands, O Father of mercies, we commend our sister Shar in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings you've bestowed upon her in this life, signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our sister forever. This too we ask in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise and the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please join in our song of sending, found in your order of worship, How Great Thou Art. Stop. 